Um, so we got our boy here from uh, Boston. 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 Can you say it like that yet? No, he can't talk. Um, no, not really. That's oh, fucking lame. Come on, man. Come on. It's not really Boston either, but. Is it like, oh, like Surrey's not really Vancouver? Is it actually It's not pretty Boston? different. Like they're, they're How phys- far away is physically it? physically separated by the river. How, how far is yeah, it? Yeah, so is Surrey and Vancouver. Yeah, so is a lot of places. Uh, it's a university town pretty much. Boston Fair is enough. not Boston. Was it like a giant U.S. city. Is it, does it remind you at all of Ithaca when we went to Brian's thing? No, no, not like that. Oh, okay. The Ithaca is like a... How far away campus. is Boston from your place? I mean... If I was going to drive? Like two minutes, one one to two minutes. What? Yeah, then... Boston? Because I'm right on the river. Oh. Yeah, then then it's the same fucking place. You just got to cross the bridge. You're there. I just this is just like people say it. that, you know, people from, you know, Delta aren't from Vancouver. That kind of stuff. Even if you're it's, right it's on the border. Dude, it's even worse. It's like saying uh, if, if you're in Surrey. You, yeah, same thing. Yeah, you're not part of like Vancouver, whereas if yeah. you're from Coquitlam, you are. Yes, just because mm-hmm. you're on the other what? side of the river. It makes no sense. <laughs> Listen, bro. You're on the Fraser, you're, wrong you're, side of the Fraser. You need to walk down that bridge and go to Boston more often. <laughs> That's what I would say. Then because he, you're already there. Like, what? If you got any free time, I would say I would say go go see the city, man. How big is that bridge? Uh, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch of bridges. So, the, like the one close to me. How big? Like how many lanes? Uh, no, how long? Like how how long could, uh, could you walk it? It's probably like four hundred meters. What? Well, Three hundred meters. Short ass bridge. That's enough, bro. That's a like. It depends. Yeah, the, the one closest hill. to me, mm-hmm. uh, Boston University Bridge. Well, that reminds me because when when we went to New York, I crossed the the Brooklyn Bridge. That was yeah. long. Yeah, that's it, like a thirty minute walk of one yeah. way. No, it's not like that. That's well, huge. How long does it take you guys? Have you guys ever crossed like Lionsgate? I haven't, I haven't walked it, no. Okay, no. Lionsgate takes like 20 minutes. Ironworkers takes like 20 minutes. Yeah, see, bo- the Boston, uh, sorry, Brooklyn is about that. And those yeah. are tall bridges. Mm-hmm. These are quite low to the water. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you this could dive th- off of them. You'd be fine, I think. Yeah. Uh, don't take that advice, <laughs> <kids>. uh, <laughs> Um <laughs> Dr. Evil makes it sound like going to Boston is like you got to play Zelda or something. <laughs> you got to go through some like maids. And a couple of caves to like go there. I didn't know this guy's two minutes away from the fucking. Yeah, I thought he was a lot farther away. Actually, no, I, I thought he was like, <laughs> I thought he was like an hour away. I was like, okay, I was well, gonna say like enough. half an hour drive. So I basically live right between Harvard and MIT, in like a kind of a, a residential zone. But I don't go to either, and I don't go to Boston. So I just kind of live in this small bubble, like two kilometer radius. Yeah. Can I call you my bubble boy? Yeah, that came out before. I don't remember. remember what? Someone yes. say this? <laughs> Somebody, yeah. Who said what the this, fuck? bro? I don't remember. That's such an obscure reference What to kind Seinfeld. of friends do you have, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Seinfeld friends. Oh, Jesus. You guys ever hear of uh, Exorcism? Of course. Was yeah. that in Boston? Uh, what do you mean? The movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was par- parts of it. I don't know. Um, uh, have you guys heard of Reverse Exorcism? No. What the fuck is Reverse Exorcism? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's when the devil tells the priest to get out of the child's body mm. jesus <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with boston i don't know nothing i'm just fucking saying it man <laughs> yeah. um god damn it did you guys see biden uh stuttering at another aneurysm no i mean he's got a lot of those videos but yeah i was just gonna say what is well, why is this one newsworthy well it it seems to be happening more often Dude, it's just gonna be some like bullshit, just like the Clinton thing. Like, oh, Clinton's dying. Remember when she was fainting? We saw this clip when she was getting helped into her van. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then that was it. There was no more health scares. She was fine after that. Do you guys think he's gonna no. finish the term? Yes. And then second term or no? How old is no. he? Like, uh, Seventy. Eighty-one. No, he's not eighty-one. Is he? <laughs> Sir, isn't he the please. same age as Trump? No, no he's no, no, a few Trump. years older than Trump. Like two years. I think he might actually be eighty-one. Because oh, 81. oh, I think they're saying yeah, Trump might be three. Because I think people were saying that Trump in 2024, whatever the next election would be, if he gets elected then, he'll be just as old as Biden mm-hmm. was when he was elected or something. Yeah, so. so also, Trump is more coherent, man. His yep. shit, you might not agree with what he's got to say. Is, like, is like, he healthier, though? Like Andrew fucking Tate. But again, he, he is coherent. Like, he makes sense. He's not falling off bikes. I and wouldn't shit. say that he makes sense. And if he doesn't know how to drive a bike. Or ride a bike, and he thinks that he's gonna fall off a bike. He might not even ride the bike, man. He's got that much common sense up top. Biden, bro, you can tell this guy's gonna fucking stutter and fall off a cliff. Suddenly, he's just gonna explode one day. His chemicals are just gonna, his body chemicals are just gonna be too old. That sounds like it makes sense. Doctor Evil, take it away. What do you think? Is it possible for Biden just to be too old and he explodes in, into his death? You put like an age cap on 
public office? Absolutely, man. I think sixty five should be cap. Cap? No yeah. way. Yeah, bro. No way. You want you want to get you want to get thirty five to sixty five? No, disagree. I don't know enough about even what the whole executive branch does, to be honest. It does seem like this person's too old to be working, though. But I think I think it's uh, subjective, though. I can say, yeah. mm-hmm. Because it's like, look at Putin. Putin's 70. He's fine for 70. Like, I, I would say, like, he'd be the exception past 65. Most people... Yeah, judo, uh, man. Most people in that position are pr- fairly old worldwide. Yeah. What about Zelensky? Yeah, sure. Well, I said, he's I said he's most. He's 44, I think. Yeah, well, he's, a lot of, a lot of prime ministers in the... in in. EU are pretty fucking young too. No, who else? How old is this? Uh, Switzerland's wha- lazy, what's this fucking lady? The Finland, the Finland chick's pretty young. No, sure. yeah, she's an exception. But the UK, the one that they just oh, I don't know, I don't he's know. Johnson. fifty something, sixty. The, the lady? lady? No, the, the lady that the, she just oh, was announced. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be replacing him as PM. The, th- the thing is that it's it's more newsworthy when head of state gets elected and they're young. That's newsworthy. Like they'll put it in the headlines, like oh. Mm-hmm. 35 year old or whatever just got elected versus when they're old it's just it's assumed to be normal that's why they just they're like of oh, Trudeau well, let's say young, the man. name 40s so like El Salvador's president's also pretty young he's like I think he was like 35 when he got elected you probably look it up average age head of yeah, state yeah you probably could yeah I would guess is uh, I'd say six early, bang on early six s- yeah I would say that actually sorry. sorry the business line no it's just an alarm I don't know why I have it set it's the the pacemaker alarm yeah I'm gonna take my pills <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> getting older, getting smarter. Speaking of getting older, this guy's birthday's a few days from now. That's right. How do you feel? Uh, it's all downhill from here, buddy. That's been saying close. that for the last five years. Very few people are under fifty. Yeah, see, that's. Is it even average, or like a median at least? A median. Oh, look at this guy with his fucking science talks. Look at me. I'm like go to Boston for science. I'm science guy. Fifty six. Fucking median. Fifty six. Yeah. Is it average? Average. Well, that's that's of, lower than I thought. Yeah. yeah. That makes I guess that makes Biden quite the outlier. I guess the amount of super young people balances out, right? Because if you think if you took all away those outliers, well, there's not that many actually, Hector. Of young young people, there's there's of course there. It are. seems I can to think be of five off the top of my head. Yeah, five five, five in in the world yeah, you're off, talking about off the top of my head. That's not even okay, actually looking at the numbers. Young right? or old? What do you young, mean? young. Yeah. Okay, but how young? Like under forty, or like about about forty. Under forty, I can't think of many. Just the Finland girl and Finland. There's a New Zealand. Chile, no. Chile, n- El Salvador. It seems like all the weak countries. <laughs> all the weak countries, yeah. <laughs> and then Zelensky. Well, all the pussy ass like GDP the countries that are just trash GDP. They're young as fuck. When you think about G8. So France, he's that uh, Macron. He's in his fifties. Pussy boy. Well, actually, well, it's different now because this is a second term. Yeah. When he got elected, so he was forties. I think he was yeah forty. He was definitely forties, but I don't know later. Johnson or early. was in his fifties. He's not young. Oh, let's take him out. Germany. Of there. That lady Mer- was uh, in her forties. Uh, new one. The new one, right? Merkel. When oh, when she started, yeah, for sure. Yeah, she, yeah. Was, she was in power for a long time. Germany's weird though. The chancellor. What the fuck is that? Is the meaning of age like youth and old changing as you guys age? No. Oh, when we, as we age? Yeah. Like your perspective of what is young oh, and what is yeah, old. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But uh, you'd have to... I think that's natural, though, right? Sure. But, like, at, at a certain point, you're you're kind of, like, already... Like, we're we're, we're not going to get much more level-headed than what we are yes, in the next... Should. We should. <laughs> five to ten years. You know what I mean? So, generally, our perspective uh, shouldn't change that much. Like, I think 15 to 20 is young. Generally, mm. when I was 15 or 20, I thought 15 or 20 is still young. So that perspective hasn't really changed. Right. Versus like um, I've heard kids like, oh, I'm already 18. Life's over. Like some ridiculous shit like that's, that. That's what I mean. That's the tip. That's more normal. No, I don't say normal. That's more common. Mm. It's more common to think that as you age, your previous age is now starting to look a lot younger than when you were there. So when you were 15, as you start aging, you're gonna be like, wow, that was a pretty immature, or whatever. When you when you look back at kids that age, you're like, oh wow. Versus when you were that age, it didn't seem that bad. It's interesting because I, I think that's more common than sure. your perspective. That, Maybe that's more of like a a thing that you know when you're 15, but you act like you're 20, kind of thing. People are like, oh, you you seem pretty, uh, you act older than your age, kind of thing. Right. Whether it's you went through stuff early on in life or whatever, you're, but that's. That's more of, I, th- I think, anyways, more of an exception thing than, than the commonality. I think it's more common to think 
you, as you get older, you're like, oh, wow. Do you guys remember that Till versus uh, fucking um, w- Woodley fight we watched at SFU? Till versus Woodley at SFU? Yeah. Did they fight back then? What yeah. The fuck. Yeah. That was so five years ago. So yeah, exactly. Jesus. So just to give you some perspective, uh, Till is our age, so he's twenty nine now. Okay. When we watched this, he was twenty five, and on on record, I was we were kind of debating on who's gonna win. This was like w- was we already knew that Woodley Woodley uh, won, but we were kind of um, talking about why Till lost, mm, mm. and I I made a point that said that. Uh, Till is 25 years old, so he's o- he's our age at that time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, he's still a child, right? And you guys, at that time, when you were 25, you guys were like, no way. Till is 25. That's an adult. Like, that's a full-blown adult. And I was making the, br- making the uh, point that, you know, when you're young and you don't have that man strength, there's a certain age category that you hit that. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I hit that, I think, about a year, year and a half ago, where like certain things I could do where I couldn't do before. Like I, I was just working on my car. I just realized like, OK, I could change like a coil over fairly easily. Whereas three years ago when I was doing coilovers, it was like insanely hard. I got to take it to the mechanic. Right. So little stuff like that, the like, perspective is completely changed. I think certain things like I think uh, weed makes you your perspective change significantly, like once you stop. But I think uh, I've had pretty okay perspectives over the years considering how much weed i smoked like i would think it'd be much worse looking back like it would be like ridiculous Mm. but it's pretty close you think your perspective changed (laughs) i think your perspective has changed a lot hector about what about everything like anything i I wouldn't say so from marriage to no it's like we that that contradicts what you said like a few months ago and when we did that and you're like well, actually, actually well not the last time we recorded but one of the times that the three of us recorded and we actually did that and we're like when you look back like that whole you know looking in the future five years your advice mm-hmm. remember that that whole conversation that we had yeah and then you even said on record <laughs> in comparison to us TV no is what yeah, i'm saying us to us yeah. like me to me five years ago but still like, you to you is still you're like no but you're like you told me on record you're like I know, bro but listen to what, what I'm you saying. said was almost word for word the same Okay, but hold on. So how would that make it different? Now I'm confused. I, the words were, it was close. It was closer. Your ideologies were closer to what you're saying now is w- w- what I said, right? But you to you, if you were going to go through all your ideologies, you'd be very different. And that that's a good thing. You'd want to be very, very different. See, that that's why I'm, I'm just confused about what you're saying now. Because okay, I'm what we were saying, what we were saying, okay, even me, right? It's all relative is, is what I'm saying. Even me. Uh, at a certain point in time, I've changed. I started moving a, in a different sure. motion. Okay, you generally had a more logical standpoint from the very beginning. Yes. Okay. However, even though you did, the research that you've done over time and the life experience that you've gained, you still drastically change if you compare yourself to yourself. But if you compare it to us, of course, no, you're you're very you're very almost the same. I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of. It makes more sense than the first time you mentioned it. It makes me think a bit more. Yeah. I don't know what... I don't know how you would define drastically, but I don't think I'll disagree with the fact that I've definitely... Mindset-wise, I've changed over certain things, whether it's... Just you know, think about jiu-jitsu. Work, no, anything. Yeah, work, lifestyle, relationship. Sure. They're, they're, they're for sure. If, like, if I took a while to like, I just sat down... Had a drink, smoked some weed, and just sat down and thought about it and like wrote it down. Bro, I could, just I weed probably, too. I could probably think about um, that was more peer pressure. <laughs> no, no, no. But think but about yeah. Think but sure. about like this. Like when we were, I remember trying to convince you guys to smoke weed, like cr- like crazy, like peer pressure, like a motherfucker. When we're standing in the parking lot at SFU. It's I'm different like, though. I'm like, yo, let's blaze, let's blaze, let's blaze. None of you want to take part because it's you easier. Took, you it's took a puff like this. You're like. Yeah, but hold on. You did that, and you we considered you were considered closer to me yeah, than yeah, these guys. Yeah, Okay, hold like on. Really a puff. Hold on. Now you get so high sometimes. You're like, yo, it didn't even hit me this week. <laughs> That's a different. But what bro. I mean is like that one. I think I'll attribute that more to peer pressure because when the three guys who don't want to do it, it's easy. They'll be like, all right, we'll stand our ground. We're not going to do it. But <laughs> when it's just me and you recording, like, who am I looking to to help me there? <laughs> it's like I got me and the dog, and the dog's on your side. Senor is like, yo, you should smoke. And I'm like, no, all right, no, no, no. I guess I am. Senor is not that much of a <laughs> pussy. Senor is like, smoke that shit, bitch. 
So, Smoke that shit. So you know what I mean? So that, that one makes sense. Yeah, Senior's like, get out of here with your wide eyes and shit. <laughs> Making logical points. Um, that edible from the week ago. Jesus. That was insane, huh? Did you watch that shit back? I, I, this guy, okay, this guy was absolutely oh retarded at a certain oh point. God. He popped, like, I would say one, a quarter of an edible. Yeah, and it was like okay. a 50 gram, I What's think. What's in an edible? It's THC. Well, it, oh, okay. yeah, THC, different cannabinoids, but basically just THC. Mm. Um, and it was, uh, I have them right here. Triangles? Let's see. Yeah, that one. Yeah. They are 50 milligrams for the whole thing. So this guy had one fourth of 50 milligrams. So I he s- had I like. I say closer to a third, but it's probably closer. He had like fourth. 13 milligrams. Yeah. Okay. We wait like an hour. Suddenly he starts hitting it. And it's funny because you, you can points. see. You can see the progression because as we're talking, we're, we're talking about something that probably took like half an hour. And uh, throughout the course of the half an hour from when it started to hit me to like the end, you can just see like the gradual like absolute retardation start to hit where it eventually like at one point i remember saying like bro we're gonna look back on this and this is like bad <laughs> well bad. i remember I, re- I i was looking back on it and uh what was funny that was um when you were making points you tend to uh use or emphasize using your eyebrows a lot the moment that you really recognize that the weed hits is when you drop your eyebrows and you're kind of like dazed and you're trying to understand what we're trying to like talk about, but you still don't know how to, you, like you still don't understand. So I'm trying to like tell this guy math, right? It's like super fair, simple. Your math was bad too. No, no, you it, was, up. You it was, it was, it was. <laughs> but you have to also have to understand I'm not sober at that point either. I'm eight no, I don't, deep. Bro, at one point I have my phone out and we're having a conversation and you can still, you can still clearly see me trying to like do the same math. Yeah. And it was like, Addition. It wasn't even multiplication. It was like 80 million. <laughs> we were trying to calculate. It was amount of married couples in the world. And oh then my God. What, what percentage of that was that of the world? Okay, and hold on. That's a good so question. Bad. Dr. Evil, what percentage of the world do you think is married? Yeah, that's a good one, actually. High 30s? Okay, wait. Let's yeah. uh, let's clarify the question. That might, this might change your answer. Uh, when we say total percentage, we mean like of living people. Yeah. So not, uh, not eligible people, right? Because it's like, you know, you're not going to have like a five-year-old getting married. No, I understand. Okay. So let's say there's whatever, seven point something billion people. Yeah. So yeah, like two to three billion. What, seven, am I way off? Seven percent. Seven? Mm-hmm. Seven and a half. Well, I'm way off, yeah. Seven yeah, and a half, it's, I think. Uh, it's, it, it was, it was 7.8 percent. Yeah. 7.8 percent uh, of the of world, the, the entire population yes. is married. Yeah. entire population It's like 169 married. million, I think, is what it was. Yeah, it was yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, Which is, it, it shows because yeah, okay. this was... Oh, what he fucked up, actually, he, he had the decimal point off by one. Just so by he, one. So he was like, yo, it's 0.75. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. But well, even... One even, even off by a factor of 10, yeah. Even 7.8 or whatever the yeah. fuck it is. That's still super low. It's low. Yeah. Super it's lower low. than I would have thought. But anybody under 18 for most of the world is not married. Yeah. But still, I mean. I would disagree. Most of the population I think is most above of 18 years old. So. If you go to the Middle East, most girls Actually, you are look, married at 18. Yeah, but the girls, but not the guys. So that's only 50% of eligibles. You're not going to have a 50 year old married guy. 7%, 7%, sure, but guys want to get. Uh, okay. Girls will get married below 18, but guys generally during, will not. During. Yes, they will. No, during, they won't. Of course they do. Bet. Bet what? Bet anything. I grew want. up in the country. How are you going to bet me? Bet. Bet <laughs> what? Mo- do you think do you think Iran has stats? Uh, probably. Do you think not. Middle East has stats? Do you think Kazakhstan All right, is showing fine. Let's, let's just no longer ever look at stats. So fuck. Let's, let's just go off anecdotal evidence now. No, 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 no. But hold on. Go off the Agbash the word over here. I just, I don't think Iran has legitimate stats. No, but just we, like China he said most COVID. of the world. What? Iran's most of the world now? Like, we can't no, 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 no. I'm just talking about like, uh. Like middle, I don't know what ha- this, this is the thing. I don't want to say I know what's happening in South America. I don't know. Maybe they're getting married at twenty. But what I'm saying is, even today, like the other week was my cousin's birthday. Mm. I mean, uh, my cousin's uh, 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 wedding, right? And what's hilarious is she's still in grade uh, eleven, going to grade twelve. Yeah, she's getting married to like a thirty-five year old. So there you go. So the guy is okay. Hold on. Most of my uncles were married before they were 20. See, I find that very... I think that's outside the norm. I think definitely this whole idea of American, you know, oh, get married. That's new. That's new these days. Are you guys sure about the 7.5% thing? Yeah, just just look up amount of married people in the world. Just do that. Because a lot of the numbers you're going to look up is like of eligible. It's You got to look up like... Uh, 
Just look up amount of married people in the world. Look up that number. You trying to hit this? A little bit. Not too, not too crazy. What do you mean? That's yours. Oh, and then what are you, what are you pointing at then? I mean, grab it, you fucking... Well, it's already here, so what am I grabbing, bro? You realize I have two computers now here? Well, yeah, one's, one's for the work, one's for the plug. I'm going to keep this. No, you're not. Oh. Oh, man, I forgot to bring it again. What? Remember that thing I bought for Ar Armand? Oh, yeah, yeah, Pichko Michael. How many guy. trips is it going to take? Such an idiot. Just mail it at this point. They don't... You have like free shipping, man. Just call it a. Yeah, you bastard. Yeah, seriously, this guy's got free shipping. Won't ship it. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Dude, I remember we used to go out at grade twelve. We used to go out for dinner every day. I remember we went to me and this guy. I th we went to uh, we're in grade twelve. We went to Ricky's All Day Grill. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh buddy. During lunchtime. Oh buddy, Doctor Evil, you remember this? No, really, no. Ricky's? Oh man, <laughs> I fucked up spending this money on this guy. <laughs> Should have been Hector, bro. <laughs> Should have been Hector. <laughs> I'd remember. Least, be like, yeah, at bro. Least this guy remember. remembered. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. No. Nope. I went to All Day Grill. I got some like. I remember because uh, I I asked if they had beers and and they didn't even ask me for ID. Mm. It was interesting. Because I, I looked pretty young. Ricky's like, is that kind of place, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like Barb will attend you. She's like, all right, what you want? I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I'll take the steak. Medium rare, I go fuck myself. Um, What's up with this? <laughs> fuck. It's weird. It's like hanging on by like a thread. Dr. Evil, do you have any um, introspective uh, questions? Questions? Yeah, I think that 7.5 figures way off. I don't think it is. For example, in the U.S., it says in 2019 there were 62 million married couples in the U.S. So 62 million out of what's the population? Married couples. 300. That also doesn't. Million? Actually, that that kind of makes sense. Married couples. Just look up. There, there's a world stat. Look it up. Total. No, nah, you, you would think so. That's what I'm trying to That's check. What, well, what did you pull up then? I pulled up some shit out of my ass, bro. Yeah, I feel like that was not. No, no, no. It wasn't. It's definitely Hector. It was seven. Hector. The stats were there. No, we I know. Them. I saw it. That's why I'm like, yeah. pull it up again. I'm like, what did you, what did you pull up? Oh, fuck, bro. I'm sorry. I fucked up the filter here. Oh, fuck you, man. This guy. Anyways, oh, wait, wait. I fixed it. There's a lot of married people out there. Are you trying to get married or no? Yo, no, what no, about no, Korea, no. bro? You want to go to Korea? Don't think about it. Listen. They'll, they'll pay you to have a baby. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to say this the last time I'm going to say it, okay? What? I'm not uh, into these... I'm not sold on marriage at all, especially in Canada. I, I feel like it's uh, it's it's probably not in your best interest to get married, especially with somebody that you don't know less than like five to seven years. Mm. That being said, we're at an age where, you know, if we want to have kids, we, you kind of want to be in your kid's life. So if you do just quick math off the top of your head, you realize that like, okay, if you get to know a girl for five to seven years, you're going to be 36, 37 years old. She's going to be in her 30s. You're going to have a pop a kid. And you're going to be 37. Your your mom's going to be 70 something years old. How are you going to raise this kid, right? But then you also look at it like this. What's wrong with that? Because you're going to be, you, that filter. you're you're gonna you're gonna live the life of a Joey Diaz type character, where you're going to be 55 years old and your kid's going to be five. No, yeah, that's you just said 37. The kid's born. That's best case. That's if I start. If I start. If I go outside, find a girl today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right? ba yeah, based off that, like, know him for five, seven years stat, right? 29, 30, plus five, seven. Well, you you got to give yourself some, yeah. like, error time of, like, dating somebody, finding out that they're they're going to take booty pictures on Instagram. By the time you're 50, And, and you're going to turn into a 18. cock, right? <laughs> yeah. And she's going to go into some, like, pa beauty pageant shit at, like, 30 years old <laughs> and just show anus pictures on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> asking for votes right these are possibilities that you might you might come across so it's like best case scenario 37 right that's that's for me timeline wise that'd actually be premium 37 but if i had to take a look like there's been lots of points in my life where when i was a child i thought my parents were really old for my age mm. and it almost made me secluded towards them as far as like a involvement from them in the education community that I was in, whether it was schools, friends, whatever. My mom had me when she was 34. Yeah, so by like my math, about, about mine, by close, my math, close. 
right? Same. If I have that feeling, my kid is going to also have that feeling, but multiplied because I'm older. Mm. Therefore, you don't really have much more than five to seven years to have a kid. It's pretty much... You feel pressured to have a kid now? No, no, no. It's not that you feel pressured to have a kid. You have these ideologies from how you're raised, whether biased or not. Mm. If you put them into actual practical timeline, you realize that you don't have that much time. If you were going to follow these things that you had in your mind when you were like, let's say, 20 years old. Mm. Oh, some people have kids Fuck this. 20 <laughs> years old. Well, I think actually that's bad. I think I think y- you you stop your growth when you have a kid. You have to be in a place of um, practicality. And thing like is, <laughs> like we don't need everybody to grow. Think about it. You also don't need everybody to have kids. But we do need kids. Not those kids. <laughs> Bro, I could even argue like I shouldn't have been born, let alone someone dumber than me. And I can point like at a hundred gr- a hundred people from our graduating class that were dumber than me. Mm. And that's saying a lot because I'm not that smart. You know what's crazy is that Korea probably feels the same way. I well actually that's to- for totally different reasons. Who I saw does? Korea. I saw the oh the country. They have a decreased population. Yeah, crazy and, amount. And what they did was like they they projected it out a bit too far in my opinion because they went so far that it's like things will probably change in the next like 30 years. But I wouldn't be so fast. Dude, to say they that. they projected to 2,100. You don't think that anything's gonna change between now and then? That's 80 years. Of course, the stuff will change. But what they, they, ha- they have to project off of what's current. So fair enough. Off the current last, you know, 10 years data, if it keeps con- trending the way it does, yeah. they will have less total population by 2100 than they did before the war. What's that population? Like 40, like 20 million or something. What, what do they have now? No, 40. it's like, it's like 40. They're, they're at like 47. They're going to have like 20 something. Okay. The problem is, is like your GDP, that's everything, a, that's a huge everything goes down, right? Mm-hmm. And even Elon was saying, like Elon was saying, what well, the the biggest problem right now isn't actually like, you know, global warming or anything like that or war. Or yeah, a lot of population. It was decline. population decline, and it's because if if a country is not growing in population, it's gonna downsize everything: trades, m- GDP, there it is. power. Um, so the that's, whole that's no infrastructure of the economy is going to go down like if you imagine like yeah house prices if if canada dropped their population by 50 percent, yeah house prices would be fucking cheap however you wouldn't have the same opportunities you wouldn't have the same anything everything gets affected everything gets affected in a bad way yeah i don't know if it, what he's saying makes sense there though so do you disagree with the fact that a declining population is bad for a country? I don't understand where the confidence comes from when they compare that with other sort of world stage problems. That, that that's number one. Oh no, yeah, okay, that's his that personal that's number one. That's his personal opinion. You can let's disregard that, but just the idea of of it being an issue of declining population. Yeah, probably it's an issue, but they do specifically say that that's worse than, uh, for example, like a nuclear war. Who's this? Well, I, know, I know Musk specifically says Yeah, that. he has, but he's whatever. Um, fuck what he says, too. The guy's got like 10 different kids, but four different women. But well, that's why. Doing, doing his that's part. This guy's, this guy's like Nick he's, Cannon. But he's that. that's why, though. He's doing his part. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you know? I don't know if that's why, but yeah. But he's, listen, he's if you part. had a hunt, like whatever he has, 80 billion, mm. whatever the fuck net, a lot net more value. Than that, but yeah, sure. Whatever. When you get to a billion stage, it doesn't really matter. He's One like, billion to... Like, he's like 230. Okay, insane. well, whatever. <laughs> Pretty fucked. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is like, what else are you going to do? You're going to invent all this shit? Okay, cool. You'd be surprised. You're going pe- gonna to pop, gonna pop out a couple babies too? There's people that age, they will never marry or have kids. Sorry, at, at that level of wealth, which is really strange. That's not only strange, but it's scary. Like Buffett. Buffett has like not that many kids. Well, he has kids though. He has kids though. There's a, a local. We got a local. Uh, Find somebody who's like that that has no kids. Not like that that level, but re- even remotely reg- close. To regionally that. speaking, one of the richest guys in the Lower Mainland, not married or ever had kids. Patterson. Uh, his name's Fred Kaiser. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah but Kaiser has those. Wasn't there a couple of news stories like five years ago? He has like a couple of alleged kids. I don't think so. Was that the alpha, alpha guy? Alpha guy. Yeah, mm. he doesn't really co- come up in the news much. He's I remember reading about Kaiser. Well, yeah, he's his name's on the yeah. fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah, UBC yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no kids, no nothing. No kids, never married. He's got a partner, but and they've been together for a while. But guy, 
No, like a woman. Oh. But they've just never married. And they've I was never just had adding kids. two and two together there. No, because that's what he calls her. He calls her his partner. That that shit pisses me, me off. Me too. Yo, me listen. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, man. No hesitation. I have a problem with that because just it's weird. fucking say it's what it is. Weird. It's what weird. if it's a tree? <laughs> you <laughs> it's know so what I mean? Because that, that's not even that strange yeah. these times, right? In these times, in 2022, if somebody came up to me at the office and was like, hey, listen, next week I'm having a wedding. <laughs> and uh, this Thursday we're going out for a bachelor party. Me and my partner... It's like an olive tree. <laughs> we're getting we're we're getting hitched on Sunday. I wouldn't be super surprised. Like I would be like, be that's kind of surprised. That's fu- I would text everybody. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. But after that, I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? Did you guys hear about that uh, True Jordy guy? True Jordy, I know him, the YouTube guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you, uh, have you have you looked into like what? Because the only reason I saw this is because this whole Andrew Tate shit is sure, fucking sure. hilarious. I get baked and just watch these guys for 10 minutes. Oh, no. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. Was there in the news? What, what happened? Anyway, this guy is DM'd. Like, he comes off as this guy. He was like a, a Marine welder, right, uh, in the UK. And he's okay. he's 6'4", like 3 Yeah, something. he's a big he's dude. He's a big I've guy. Seen, I've seen him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that being said, there was like, he was talking to some girl like about, I don't know, a few months ago. And they kind of, he was kind of drunk and she was kind of fucked up. And, and they were talking about like, she was a she was a she was a OnlyFans chick. She mm-hmm. was like a dominatrix, and this guy, based on his appearance, you would never guess. But he was talking about like sucking oh, dildos he was a sub? and shit. Oh, he was a sub. Super fucking. He's a sub. Suspect shit. And then I watched him on Andrew Schultz like recently. Yeah. And he was trying to like kind of like cool that shit off, and yeah, he was yeah. like, "I was just drunk." I'm like, "Yo, listen, bro. I've been drunk too. I've <laughs> never, never." <laughs> Said, I want to dick up my ass because I'm fucking drunk. Like, it doesn't make sense, man. That's not drunk. You're gay. Yeah, It's true. okay. Yeah, like, y- yeah, I guess you would say that when you're sober. So I think yeah. now it's like what's more strange in 2022, it's these anybody who's semi-famous um, kind of contemplating in public whether they're gay or not. That's more strange than the shit he was saying because now he's kind of like he could come out as gay. It'd probably be in his benefit mm. as far as like marketing, publication. Like, sure. think about that whole uh, little Nas X thing. Mm. That guy literally did an album and said he was gay, and that was a promotion for the next album. 100%. Like, that was legitimate promotion. Like, you don't need to tell me I'm gay. Mm. Like, I don't... Why do I care? Sure. You know what I mean? And that's my problem with public schools. I'm going to bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fucking Tied problem in. with public schools, this, okay? This is Armand's, like, thought process when he wakes up in the morning. It's like... No, no, no. Thought today, to thought to thought. And it's like, this is the thing. You, today was one of those days where I was so busy, I didn't even have time to smoke weed today. This was my first joint. Damn, bro. That's that's some heavy shit there. So You're actually productive. Today I was very productive. Um, But yeah, so this goes back to public school. So Dr. Evil and Hector, imagine you have kids. I'm going to paint you a scenario. All right, paint me a scenario. You got, you got a couple of kids, right? And these kids are going to public school. Mm. And because now there's this whole notion of, you know, f- fighting for kids mm. or no, sorry not fighting for kids but fighting for a better uh kind of salary for teachers because everybody's saying they're underpaid undercut okay. okay and with that goes a lot of privileges such as they can kind of say um their sexes they talk about that shit like it's it's kind of like open right like we didn't have that when we were coming up but now i guess p- teachers have like this whole notion where they're open with their sexuality in f- like oh in sure yeah, around okay, the okay, kids okay, okay now my problem is this like this might not be an issue if if your kids like grade eight grade seven you know and older but like i don't need to tell my six-year-old kid why uh mrs fucking whatever doubtfire is taking dildos in her ass like this doesn't need to be covered when they're Hold eight on, years so old that's okay you're I but don't know this is this is the this is the thing. Yeah, it's not going to be that. It's not going to be hey, go, hey kids. So guess what? I got a fourteen inch dildo. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I mean, not like, that's made, not what I'm saying. I feel like you're to be funny. You made an example that maybe you weren't actually being serious about. This is the issue. So they will announce their sexuality. Yes. Okay. Fine. I am this. Sure, sure. My kid won't know about it. Let's say. Mm-hmm. And then my kid's gonna come up to me and ask, mm-hmm. and that's gonna be a a fucking rabbit hole of itself because now I got to go into depth of why. And how, and th- things I have don't to. Think dis- you do, but okay. but but listen, 
how do you describe like let's say you, okay this is even a better question kid comes up to you mm. dad what's gay i found out my teacher how old's said a kid though it, and it matters seven seven and you just explain what homosexual is and you're like what why is, what is sex no hold that that's what i said that's why what matters. do you need to know I, I, I wouldn't say homosexual then but it's like you don't it, de- it depends what age they are because if they're not at the age where i'm going to explain certain details about a heterosexual relationship, I'm not going to do the same thing for a homosexual relationship. So if I'm not going to talk about sex with the kid, depending on how old they are, for straight people, I'm not going to explain it for gay people. That makes no sense. You have to be equal about it. So if they're at the age where, yes, the sex talk has already happened, then sure, now you're going to have to fucking... When do you get that, though? Did it we, depends. Are we supposed to get it that in high school? Like yeah, the, I, the I did. I, I did get it. I got it in grade 8. I got it Was in grade, grade eight? 7 as well. 7, we, 8. We missed ours. They missed it because of... Uh, remember Hardy? I think they, they missed. Oh yeah. You know why they missed it? Because they, they didn't think you're gonna get laid. So. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need to know. <laughs> good one. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't need that. to know. <laughs> good call too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this no, guy's, this guy's a not gonna family play. member. Remember, he got killed in a car accident, and then he disappeared, and we got a sub, <laughs> and then we just never oh, talked about it. Oh, that any makes of that sense. Sub. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but going back to that, I would just match it. So whatever kind of explanation I would give for uh, a hetero relationship, I would do the same thing for a gay relationship. What I'm saying is, though, because um, hetero was so is so normalized over decades, it's not even something that comes up. Of course, it is. You still have to explain sex at one point. At one point, well, what I'm saying is like, okay. And before that point, a child's knowledge is so innocent; it doesn't really matter. When like, do you, I don't even remember learning about it, to be honest. Learning what? Sex? Yeah. You just said you, didn't, wait, you never. Wait, wait, hold on. Do we have? Oh, to but at some wait, point, wait, wait, yeah. wait, <laughs> okay. wait, wait, wait. Do we have to have the sex talk with you? Yeah, okay. Dr. Evil, is that what we need to do? When do a man, man and, and a, a woman, woman love, each, love other each other very when much. When a man and a man love each other <laughs> very and much. Now, now it's like when a man and a table love each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. Okay, anything. so you don't remember it? But I mean, I guess just. I don't remember at what point I knew f- what sex was. Oh, that's oh a different that's question. What I'm he was at. paying. Uh, he was paying attention to drop shipping. I knew <laughs> it. I knew it early on, just because I used to. My parents didn't, um, like movies. Like, I didn't. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm. I didn't get. Too. To they it didn't comes up not in film, watch, you know? Yeah, they did not yeah. let me watch. It's like same thing in Europe, for example. That is a lot more mainstream. Like you'll see, like X-rated films on like public TV. Even like, but you won't see that here. Stuff you'll watch Friends in the '90s, and like you know, they imply that they're doing something in the yeah, bedroom actually, I, I behind remember, closed doors. I remember I got that from uh, Seinfeld because my parents would watch a lot of reruns of Seinfeld. Yeah, there's no actual and sex, but like, yeah. no, they would even say like sex, yeah. right? And then I have to figure that out, and then I would. And then that's how I knew. <laughs> I don't remember how it. So I remember being like so six in Azerbaijan. And we, back then, everybody was broke. Like the whole economy of Azerbaijan back then was like ridiculous in the late 90s. Yeah. And early 2000s. And um, we just got this kind of antenna thing, right? My dad literally stole it from somebody else. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> to watch cable? <laughs> to watch cable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. So it's like, it's 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 Sunday. And we're all sitting down. We got this fucking antenna. It literally looks like one of those clothing fucking hooks. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it fucking looks like. Yeah, yeah. So my dad's there. He's fucking fixing this shit. And we're all sitting there with, like, fruits and shit. This was, like, back then to us, this was, like, a happy time. It was kind of, yeah, like, yeah, going yeah. on a picnic for some people. So he's fixing it up. And we're seeing an image. <laughs> and we're like, oh, oh, shit. oh uh yeah 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 that's right go that way go that way and then suddenly the image pops and it's this blonde chick getting her hair pulled just getting fucking frailed Jesus, and dude. her titties just popping and oh <laughs> the only God. thing my mom can do and you have to understand my, what position my mom was she's got her legs crossed and she's got a plate on her leg and she's cutting the apple to like give it to us yeah. right mm. she drops everything <laughs> the fucking knife goes literally cuts her toe Jesus. okay as she's trying to like cover her <laughs> face <laughs> and my dad my dad is such a dude this is how i know this guy is gonna live to be like 97 years old because when he was he was like 40 something then yeah he couldn't physically stop looking at it and like change like in his head he's like it's more important that i get this little little fuel ca- capsule in my head for later <laughs> than for me to like change this antenna so my kids don't watch so shit like that was like pretty pretty common man you would like it those like escorts on the street back then yeah like yeah, with the titties out you wouldn't know what an ex- escort does well i mean you know as a child you until know that you get she, educated sure you know that she's a bad woman 
Yes. Because when you walk there with your mom and she, yes. that, that escort flashes you, that you you're up. like, mom, what the hell? And Why am I seeing like, titties? Well, yeah, she's yeah. like, oh, she's a bad woman. Yeah, yeah. You know where you learn about it? Uh, other kids and insults. Because they'll say, like, you know, suck my dick or something like that. And you wonder. Which, you kid, two two which kid says suck my dick? <laughs> they <had> kindergarten. <laughs> suck my dick. Not at school. And that's Not a clap school. right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <yeah>. <laughs> Big clap right just there. in the neighborhood, especially <laughs> when you hang out with older kids. Worse. Oh, actually, yeah, like yeah. Well, older should, kids I could see, but like yeah. I, you know, when we were five or six, no, you know, you're, hang, you're playing. This is where uh, like street hockey, and there's like a twelve-year-old there, and you're six. You hear, you know, yo, like, suck my dick, kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just little Joey Diaz. Same shit that you guys say now. <laughs> fucking white kids. You hear those kinds of insults. Back Same. Sh- I mean, yeah, but I'm 29th. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I can see what you're saying, especially like. Uh, Echo's man of God, bro. He your your brother, <laughs> like your brothers, your friends, older brothers, stuff like that, cousins. Yeah, no, that, that's definitely true because you'll overhear stuff and then you're like, well, I wonder what that is. Yeah. I, I remember learning about cocaine, actually. You what? When I was like six or seven. I remember learning about cocaine. Like freebase cocaine or like? No, they just explained <laughs> to <laughs> the us. The good stuff or the yeah. bad yeah. stuff? Powder. What'd you, you learn? Let me educate the you. Powder they told us it could kill you. That's why it kind of. Yeah, right. I mean, it could, but you'd have to be like retarded. Yeah, but you're six. You don't realize there's a powder that can kill you. Um, when you're six years old, they tell you not to touch. The it thing anymore. is, Arvon came street ready out of the womb. That's why. Yeah. This no. is the thing. Back home, uh, I have a few family members that overdosed on something called teriyak, which is an opiate, right? And you mm. smoke this stuff, and you basically you die because you go hyperglycemic and you you basically poison yourself. You overdose on it. Right. Um, and a few family members died, and, and I remember like being three or four and asking like my father, like wh- who died, mm-hmm. and like this person, and I was like, why? And my dad's a savage; he doesn't give a fuck. There's no like parental guidance with this guy. Mm. It's just like straight up. It's yeah, like, yeah. He did drugs because he's an addict, and he died because his body couldn't handle it. That's like the shit. I three, four years old, right? It was pretty common sense. And mm-hmm. then also like there's another avenue of shit. Like w- my dad owed a lot of people a lot of money because his business sense was terrible. Um, so he would. He bought like a lot of these cat equipment and couldn't couldn't get rid of it. And there was cops after him because people did like civil suits. Mm-hmm. Um, so being like five, six years old in Iran, that's one of the reasons we had to leave, right? Because this guy was like back then like a million dollars in, in debt. debt. Mm. So it was cops calling us on the phone and it was like common knowledge in our household that like if they ask for my dad, say he's not here. That's mm. like some mafia shit. Right. That's so like being households. that age, it was kind of like I wish it was mafia stuff because mafia stuff's yeah. cooler. That yeah. stuff is like your, your parent, your dad's just retarded and your mom is like naive as fuck, but she's smart as fuck. Like mm. my mom's a doctor with two clinics. Mm-hmm. She's just naive as shit. Like I told my mom the other day, I was like, the best thing I can do is find a Korean girl that was as naive as you <laughs> when you were like 25, 26 yeah, years old. Yeah, yeah, Because then I'm made. Because if my dad can fool you, I guarantee you I can fool the <laughs> <this> chick. <laughs> guarantee you. Some pipe dream. It's over, son. Give me that white check. Blank check. Well, yeah, like I said, going back to the original point, man. Go to Korea, man. Get paid. Listen, get I paid. think I think if I'm going to get married, it's going to be with a Korean at this point in my life. You got to do it in Korea, though, man. I don't I don't even think. I don't. E- okay, white chicks are just no way. There's no chance. I don't think there's ever going to be a chance where I'm going to be like, yeah, this is a good idea. Mm-mm. Let me just go and uh, marry little Becky or Elizabeth or some shit. I don't see it either. Um, or Spanish chicks, it seems like there's not enough of them. So it's like not enough exposure to them. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? There's you have to go down to Miami for a few months. I mean, But that's a bad idea because Miami chicks are like Hollywood yeah, girls. They're like those. LA those chicks. You don't want those want. girls. No, it's true. It's They're already want. fucking dazzled up you don't top. Want, you don't want LA? You don't want Miami. No, man. If a girl comes like up to you and says, you got to pay my rent to fuck with me, it's like, get no. out of here. You're gonna need something like uh, like Arizona or like I assume that's a risk. Those people are the same. Texas, maybe. There's two types of people in places like that. There's the fresh and fit type or the Andrew Tate type, and then there's the girls that expose those guys, and then there's like the better version of Andrew Tate and the better version of those girls. That's literally it. There's four types of people down there. It's rough outlook. What are you? What type are you? Are you the are you the ho- hopeless romantic type, uh, Hector? Back to this shit again. Uh, <laughs> 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 Full circle, homie. Full circle with that fucking stash. Full circle with that circle jerk. Uh, more that than the other one, for sure. But I'm not all the way there because I've been exposed too much on the other end. You've been heartbroken. Well, of course, there's that, but there's also like the other stuff, just like cyni- just general <laughs> just cynicism, <cynical>. cynicism, <laughs> being jaded, and all that shit. Not yeah. obviously like to that level. These fucking guys where all they're doing is just like shitting on women. Yeah. But but yeah, that gets exhausting. Yeah, it's just that gets exhausting. It's too much. 
but obviously yeah, not you know some naive I like, think oh my god love is I don't everywhere. think those guys are naturally like that though I think that they're trying to sell something too oh they're, they're definitely it's right the, that's the, not the moment they offer you something you're like okay you're obviously something that's not shit. that's not real energy like that that's not like yeah. real shit yeah. real energy would be like you just kind of like live life without the fact that there's a woman there like you know what I mean you just don't even consider that option yeah I guess um but if you have to number us off from like the most cynical and like the most fucking like that mentality versus like the most hopelessly romantic from us like dr evil emil sunny yumi oh okay, we're making a beer because i'm like if it's here it's from least, least to I'm most like, this is an easiest least ro- least hopeless least cynical. cynical least cynical probably me and then i think hold on you less than emil yeah, I think so. No way. I think so. Dr. Evil, what do you think of this? I think so. Uh, no, I think I agree with him. Hmm. I think yeah. so. But then, yeah, then either Emil or Sunny, that doesn't matter where if it's like two or three. That, yeah, they don't they, count. They, 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 no, I mean, like, it's so close. Either They're or. Background actors anyway. Either or. And then you guys are almost a toss up too at that point. Like I don't really know between you two who would be like the most, or like I think it depends on the on the week. So who's the most jaded? It depends on the week and the month. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'd basically like I'd group it. Up. I'd group it. I'd be like me, then Emily and Sunny, and then you two. Who's the most cynical person you know in that sense? In that sense? In that sense. Well, like I said, depends on the week. Could be no, 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 no. From everybody, not just I'm us. I'm not. Did I stutter? Oh, okay. So it's <laughs> us, motherfucker. Did I stutter? <laughs> Damn. Because Hector actually has a big group of friends, like I, very, very uh, diverse. I, I diverse. wouldn't even say big. I would say like diverse. diverse That's exactly. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, which is which is interesting because like sometimes he'd be like, "Oh, I'm gonna be late to the pod." It's like, "Where are you going? I'm going to this some birthday party?" And I'd be like, "Whose birthday party?" And it's like some background actor. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> not a main character in any sense of the word. The who? Doctor, what do you think? So that means we're the most cynical people. You know? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I don't. But between me and me and Doc, you know, I would you know say why? It's not. <laughs> this even is close. weird. <laughs> Actually, it's not even that weird. You guys probably agree. I, I don't generally keep those people around. <laughs> what kind of people? Oh, cynical. cynics. <laughs> yeah, cynics. Like, there's a limit to how much I can have of that in my life, and you guys, uh, you guys have basically hit it for me. Like, any more, and I'd be like, yo, I, this, it's full. I already got these guys. I don't need more of you people. You need cheerful people, huh? I need more of that mm. than the other. Hmm. For sure. There's a difference between like... Uh, but hold on. Let's be clear. I don't I don't want this to get twisted. I don't think you guys are cynical in every sense, like in, in life. No, no, no. Like w- when I call this guy, it's not like, you know, everything that comes out of his mouth is some fucking... No. I'm no not, that, that's not what I'm, I, not I, like, I'm not saying. You don't call me and I'm not the person who says, oh, I can't get out of bed. I'm yeah, depressed. no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying cynical about life. I'm just saying... I don't think any of us are cynical about life. I think no, no, no. There's people like that. There are. No, there no, are no, but, we're not but, saying that. No, I just, just want to clarify the question. His question yeah. was specifically about like relationships, for example. Yeah, yeah. we And that's what I'm being... I just want that to be I very would say, clear. I would say uh, relationships and like uh, pretty much our... <laughs> Our ideas on life, man. <laughs> like, if if I, I mean, you probably already like you definitely know, but like, dude, me and this guy, we're like trying to like, we're trying to do some like fucked up shit at one point. Like, not even that it's not that fucked up. It's not. It, it has. It's been done before. But what I'm saying is like this one that you, I was getting roped into at one point. <laughs> it it was like was it, it was one? it was a ton of those ideas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It was a ton there. of sure, those yeah, yeah. ideas, right? Okay, we keep and it ambiguous enough to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Not too much to incriminate ourselves. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like me, like I, I kind of took part of that. But you know, Doctor Evil, w- at one point in time, he was like, he was begging to take part of this stuff like that, and I was like, bro, like this is. Like think twice, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm in it, but I want to get out. Like yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's kind of like seeing guys in, from Mexico and coming to construction for the first time. They're like, I'll do anything. I'll work 12 hour days. I'm yeah. like, bro, trust me, you, you don't, don't want to <laughs> work 12 hour days. <laughs> like that's the last thing you want to do. In three years, you're gonna be super depressed. You're gonna kill yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But Doctor Eva, what would you say? What would you if you had to name off uh, top Le- five? Top five of uh, what? I guess between Le- us, right? No, the same way. Yeah, like yeah, least yeah. cynical to most cynical. Probably close to the same ranking. It's going to be like the, the same, same ranking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, It's not like I see it different. Now, do you have somebody you know that's more cynical? Oh, that's, that's a good one, actually. You don't have to name, obviously. You can just say the yes or no. Um, I think <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what do you say? Because right? I don't know the guy well enough to like what try the, and... What was the end discussion there? Those are just like... He's very existential. Do you know what nihilism is? Yeah. yeah. He's very nihilistic at one point, and I'm like, all right, man, I don't. I like the guy. I don't know you well enough to like talk you out of this, so we're just. I don't think you can talk people out of that. No, I don't think. I think. I think. No, I but I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't even. I'll rephrase. I didn't even know well enough to try and encourage. 
because I'll be encouraging when I when I hear that kind of stuff, or, mm. or at least try and like bring up other things in the conversation. But I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Do you know why I, really I think know you I think well, so. uh, some people some me personally when someone's nihilistic it doesn't it doesn't affect me. I, I actually That's like that. You're also kind of like that too. So I'm very nihilistic. Well then, and, why uh, would, of course, why would it? Affect I I, you? I, I <laughs> think what the fuck. I think <laughs> no no no. But this is the thing. Like people people tend to think that being like cheerful and stuff. I think the only reason people mm-hmm. try to be cheerful at when you're nihilistic is because. First of all, they're they're not people that are nihilistic aren't actually like uncomfortable being nihilistic. That's like what they enjoy. Yeah, Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Like it's not that I'm trying to run away from being nihilistic. It's like I realize life is certain aspects of life in my ideas mm-hmm. are nihilistic, and I enjoy being nihilistic in certain aspects of life. Just like I enjoy sex in certain parts of life. I don't enjoy sex fuck two a.m. on a Wednesday because I gotta fucking wake up at six a.m. That's a good point. Right. So what I'm saying is like that. I don't think you should be cheerful because as a nihilistic person in certain contexts in my life, the best thing would be to find someone who has a different perspective. So why am I nihilistic? Am I nihilistic for X point? Okay, try to convince me off that X point without trying to be cheerful. Try to use logic. That's the best way, because at a certain point of time, my mom did this. And a few times, like I could count two dramatic times where she brought up some points where it was like super logical and at that point i think i had to just be like this is a waste of fucking time just like being too happy is yeah just like being too depressed is too anything is a waste of i time. was gonna say that i'm glad you said it um, but yeah t- i think just to anything in general so whenever yeah. i hear that kind of like conversation kind of go down it's fine if someone just brings it up <laughs> or just book whatever it. <laughs> no but if 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 all the conversation is and we're talking for like an hour is that i'm like okay man like Life isn't just that. That mm. that's kind of the uh, how I feel. I don't really like staying in one thing all the time. It makes sense that throughout what you go through, different things are going to come up. You know, you might feel nihilistic about something. You might feel super passionate and optimistic about something else, and or whatever. But you can't make everything, at least in my opinion, one thing. It's just too much, too much of anything. It's like, fucking why. Not only too much, but it's almost like a wall for these people. It's just like talking to an addict is. That's the other issue. Is that you it's try hard to talk to, them away. It, I remember it's hard to have conversations about other stuff because yeah. it always draws the same. And you're like, bro, what the fuck? Like, come on. Mm. That's, I, remember I think, my biggest issue. I dated this girl in high school, and um, she was from Burnaby North. And I met, I met her through um, swimming, I think. And uh, no, 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 this wasn't. Anyway, I just met her from something else. Okay. Um, and years later like 22 um i was like going back and forth from san diego and i came back and i, and I was meeting up my friends and i saw her and she was asking for change and she was an addict Jesus. for like 45 minutes because i had like at that point in time I, I don't think i was as cold of a person yeah i try to like talk her out i was like listen like you know if you need help like let me like help you out like tomorrow like we'll get a social worker here like we'll, we'll try to help you like, where was quit. this was um, this here? Columbia and Hastings. Jesus. When was this? This was like when I was 22. <laughs> was when you were the worst. <laughs> yeah. But this is the thing. Like certain people I have a soft spot for at that age because now it's not the same. But that back then I had like a soft spot for certain people. I would well, like. You wouldn't care now? Uh, no, because I'd be like, it's your own fault, bitch. You're 30. Like, mm-hmm. mm, it's. I mean, if I could have fallen into that. Why didn't I? I was around it all the time. Why didn't I? And I, like you know what I mean? Like you mm-hmm. give yourself all these excuses to fail, or you can just give yourself real reasons why you failed, and then face it. If you can face it, great. If you can't, then you just you're on a block wall, and I'm not here to like waste my time listening to your garbage. Because it's it, you got to go against the grain, right? Everybody's going against the grain. You're going against the grain. You you know what I mean? Like you have in the past year, I could call it, say a few things. You're doing it. You know, everybody, that's how you improve. You go against the grain and you improve. If if you're constantly in this wall where you're not going against the grain, you're like the same. And no. someone's trying to convince you of it. After a certain point, just like you said, right? You're going to walk away be like, yo, fuck this. Mm. Right? Whether that's being nihilistic, someone has an addiction, whatever it is. If they can't see what you're saying in a logical standpoint, you're wasting your fucking time. How many seconds, days, months, years you have left? Mm. You're going to spend that on some dummy? Remember when you calculated that? You're like it's X amount. Of, what did you say? Days. You said days. Yeah. Left, and I was like, damn. How that's, many, that's how many cool. days in a in a lifetime? Well, not that, but what he actually brought up, he's like, what do you have, like two? He, he made rough estimates for how much, how many days. You have left about thirty six thousand days left mm-hmm. with at you. best, at best. And then that's what, if you live a hundred 
that's if you live a hundred years mm. but realistically you only have like 22,000 uh Remaining. days when you're zero years old at this point my mom has something that's like 5,800 days left that's if she lives to be 80 and that's if she doesn't die from being fucking 200 pounds at five foot four that, right? That's what he mentioned to me. He called, we were talking on the phone one day, and he just mentioned that out of, I don't know where almost. And he was like, yo, I, I roughly figured out that my mom's got X amount, like that, days left. And I was like, damn. Because when, when he put it. It's a little him, memento mori for you. Yeah. But because all our parents are roughly the same age, and he used like a, I don't say like a super conservative estimate, but like a, a, decent, a decent estimate. So... When I thought of it, I'm like, damn, that's probably pretty close to my parents, too. And then we just had a moment there where we were like, we probably could spend so more we time with probably have like 18,000 days left or something. I didn't even care about that. I was just looking. 16. I think I'm going to outlive all you guys, so it's, it makes me kind of sad. But at the same time. I mean, you'll definitely outlive himself. this guy, but I don't think you'll outlive me. I'll definitely outlive you. Let's pl- let's place the bet, and our kids can pay up. Listen, my dad's stronger than your dad. <laughs> Forget about the dad. I want your grandfather. How old is your grandfather? Lived yeah. to be 100, uh, basically. Both sides, uh, 94 and 98. Really? One one side was my I dad's dad, w- who died at 98, and he was actually a smoker, but he had three wives. I've talked about him before. Mm. And my dad, um, my mom's dad, uh, he he died at 94. He was uh, just like a good guy, super religious. But my dad's dad was a bad guy, and mm. he was like a open-minded kind of person back then. He was mm-hmm. like a socialist. Yeah. And this is like in the f- in the you know in the 30s, 40s. Yeah. You can be the last man standing. We'll see. It's okay, man. I think I'll bury I, all you guys. I think I, I, th- I, I doubt you will. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I'm th- still here. I think when I think when <laughs> when I die. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like those <laughs> at, that at was our good grave, <laughs> <laughs> still your pussy just fucking cane and everything yeah I, I think when we bury some of our friends it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of sad because we'll be still pretty coherent and stuff but i think when you bury me it's it's gonna be like in goodfellas where like you're in the chair because like you only got like a couple of years left no it's no like no listen the, this is i told myself this like when the last person that i know that was like my peer mm. or my elder that died i think that's any time past that is just bonus time mm. do you know what i mean yeah so we've talked about this and you guys thought i was joking around but like past that point is like when i would call you know get a nice couple eight balls a little heroin coke you know escorts mm. just spend all the money man like because no i guarantee you my wife's gonna die before even if i marry a 22 year old i just know i'm gonna outlive this bitch i okay wait Oh, 22 year old now. Tw- if I if I marry 22 t- year old now, I'm gonna outlive this bitch for sure. I don't know, man. I oh, dude, not, people are not, soft, bro. Not if you marry a Korean. Even if I marry a Korean, nah, no bro, way, no way. Koreans, th- this is why they age well. They age well till about 55. Sure. And so then what, you gonna boom, kill her or something? Ninja Turtle, Ave everybody, everybody turns into Ninja Turtle. Who's who's the most impulsive between these same five people that we we just ranked Me. earlier? Yeah, this guy's number Me. one. Me. Then yeah. You're probably number two. No, you're not number two. The Sunny's number two. Impulsive? Okay, name stuff that he does that's impulsive. I can't on cam. I would have to cut this off. You can cut it off then. Plays poker. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not about? that impulsive, man. That's extremely no, impulsive. It's not. Bro. No, you haven't seen him at the casino. You think that he's some like fucking high rolling gambler that's I don't like, think he's a high rolling gambler. That's the, like betting the, on like blackjack or even like Listen, roulette. just guy, the aspect that he has a bachelor degree in comp side but he's choosing to do poker is that's cuz he's that's cuz he's actually pretty good at poker. Fair enough, but so that's not I, pl- playing it safe okay, though. It's we'll just agree to disagree. I sure. I in my ranking, he's not there, but fair enough if he's, you know, I would say Sunny you. and then it's probably you. You and Sunny could flip. Like this argument is pointless. Mm. You and Sunny could flip. That's a good um, one. I, th- I think, yeah, that, that's and fair. Then, and then I would say Emil and you can flip. No, I wouldn't say so. I think it's clear cut. Uh, Emil's the last one. He's it's less n- impulsive? It's not even close. Like, it's not even close. Like, it's, uh, I think Maybe. it's actually a pretty, pretty clear drop. Hmm. And he would probably admit this on camp. He would? Mm-hmm. I don't think... I think being not impulsive is the best thing you can do as a man. It's fucking stupid to be impulsive. <laughs> 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 no, I was going to say because you're, like, very confident about certain things much later in life and how you'll feel about them and i think it's uh it's tough to to feel that way it's tough to be confident about these things 
you know what you're gonna value yeah Yeah, this idea of like doing drugs and whores and whatever else at the twilight years of your life oh (laughs) maybe but yeah yeah yeah. unlikely maybe maybe not at that time two piece in a soda probably could care less about it but i had to bet on it that's what i would that's what i put my money fuck man i wish you're alive so you see me do that last little bit of heroin (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> just I mean, well, it's just the thing. It's not like you do that now, anyway. No, but this came from. I don't know anyone that does a lot of drugs. Oh, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But I, if they I, said I that, I, I could buy that. Yeah, yeah. Um, hold on. I do com- in comparison to you guys. I do a lot of drugs. Oh, great! You fucking sn- uh, you snort know. up coke? No, no, no first no, no, of all, no. you haven't. I do a little bit of acid. Second of all, what you're like shooting up heroin? Those are particularly addictive. Yeah, no, 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 they're not yeah, addictive. You're just, you're just gonna start shooting up I'm heroin. I'm not doing like narcotics and like this, scheduling this, drugs. This guys. guy's yeah, gonna okay. fuck. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, that? but what I'm saying is like probably uh, what you're doing now, you're gonna be doing to some extent later that on. Makes so sense. if you're a workaholic, you're probably gonna be a workaholic. If you're a yeah. family well, man, you're probably gonna be. I think we talked. I like how he points at you as a family man, even though you have three of the three. Yeah, probably. I would say Emil is gonna be. Yeah, but he's not here. As far as definitely a family man. Was he how much time he yeah. spent? Timeline. I, I'm, I'm saying as far as time, the first person I think that's going to get married is probably Emil. And it's probably going to be this. But girl. what's funny is that we did not think that three years ago. I I definitely thought that he was gonna. Okay, if I had to bet on me and Doctor Evil I think we and Emil, we've had this conversation probably on I, camera. I have. I think. No, we haven't had a conversation about. I think so. Like getting married, who's getting married first, and all that stuff. I think we have. This is not the first time we've had. this Anyway, conversation. my point is, is like. Th- regardless of who's first, uh, just they're gonna be more family oriented, I think, For just sure. based on you know their history. But you just don't have the uh, like some guys don't play basketball because they're not six nine. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sure. Doctor Evil, like I am not doing it because I I just don't think the odds are good. Doctor Evil, why are you not trying to do it? I don't think that's a good analogy at all because you made it sound like you can't have you don't have relationships because you can't have them. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, the 6'9 thing was kind of weird. What's 6'9 what thing? You're like, you're not playing basketball because you're not 6'9. So how does that translate to... Oh, uh, okay. I'm not, I'm, not saying, uh, I'm not saying that you don't do it. It's that you play, in your, you play with, with your strengths is what I'm trying to get at. You might be able to. Anybody can. It's not, it's not as cut and dry as like, yeah. oh, being 6'9 and being part of the league. It's not as cut and dry as that, for sure. But you kind of play with your strengths and you see from what you learn, right? In your mind, Hector, as much as you get heartbreaks, end of the day, you're going to be like, I want to get married in Canada. Yeah, 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 sure. Blah, 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 to whatever girl from the church. But there's other signs too. Just like look at how much time people spend with family. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's probably a tight correlation between that and how much importance they put on getting married to begin with. So you think that would describe you? Well, look how much time Emma spends with his family. No, I understand. Me too. And you... It's a lot yeah, of water, also you're an only child, which makes it yeah, it's a quite different more for me. pressure. It's not. I wouldn't describe it. As Dude, pressure. I see my parents like. I wouldn't say it's pressure. It's not I would pressure. say. Not I would say. If, I would say the fact that Emil has a brother makes it pressure. Versus him, it's like that's it. If they're not going to spend time with Hector, who are they going to spend time with? Mm-hmm. Or if Hector's not going to spend time with his, the only two people that are primarily related to him who's he gonna spend time with you know what i mean mm. whereas emil he can spend time with his brother you know what i mean it's 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 more pressure for him to show up and do these things because he also has a brother that shows up and do th- does these things yeah that actually reminds me of the day i got really sad when uh oh, what the fuck happened sure, I my, real soon. yeah yeah um my dad another another 15 guys like probably five for this guy yeah, yeah, no, I yeah. Me, my yeah dad. let's say five Funny enough. um yeah <laughs> that's good man i um my, my dad, my dad went out to see some like work friend from mm. from before. Yeah, and then um, I didn't know about because I, I said I was gonna go visit. To, there was something I was gonna do. Right. I didn't realize the timing, but there was like an overlap where my mom was just home by herself for like three hours. Mm. And and I remember when I when I finally got in and it was just me and her. My dad was still out, and I was like, oh hey, like what like what are you doing? And she's like, oh it's like gardening and stuff. I'm like, oh but like what? I thought you just got. She's like, no, I've been here for like since like five. And I'm like, mom, what the fuck? Why didn't you like tell me earlier that you're gonna be home? She's like, oh yeah, you know, I got kind of sad, but that's okay. I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> it's like no one was at home. Mm. Dad was gone. The the kid who was there before, because there was like a one of my dad's friends' kids was uh, doing like uh, an exchange or something. Mm. He wasn't home, and so my mom was just like came home to like an empty house. And I'm like, mom, you should just fucking said something earlier. I just would have showed up earlier. It's like it was, it's not a big deal. Like what, whatever. It's like, oh no, it's fine. You know, when I get sad, I just garden. Now, is your like, mom? Fuck. I got a couple questions. Sure. Because uh, I have the same feelings, but sometimes my mom reassures this guy sounds me. Sounds like Rick Ross. Um, yeah, he does. He got like something stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Sure, it's, go ahead. It's sick. 
is your mom very feminine? Would you describe her as very feminine? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I had the same feeling towards my mom mm-hmm. because she, you know, she, she initially bought a house. And yeah. She had yeah. This empty house. And, um, my sister travels a lot and I, I've moved out, mm-hmm. but my mom is like, every time I talk to her about this, she was like, dude, I fucking like it. I don't, I don't oh, like yeah, your yeah. kids. You guys are <laughs> fucking annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, like my that's, mom. That's weird. Part, I can't relate to that. You know, mm-hmm. my dad was a savage, but my mom's also a very, like, yeah, very, true. very masculine woman. Yeah. You know, very like, uh, like independent in her own ways and she's not like looking for attention so anytime i think of stuff like this it kind of helps having a mom like that because i don't feel bad in situations like that mm-hmm. right like i told my mom like you know when i was living with her, i was like yeah the conversation came up i was like yeah i live with you because because we have a lot of arguments mm. um because we don't we we tend to be very argumentative like i i'm very argumentative because i i consider myself like a man and i have to be non you know anyway she was like, "Dude, you're doing this. You think that you're doing this for me, but you're doing this for yourself. For yourself. Mm-hmm. Like you're not you're not here because you think I'm gonna pass out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You th- you're just here because you know you feel better about yourself on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. Outside of being around me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. about the situation. And she was like, "This is a fucking phobia, bro. You're yeah, a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you got a fucking phobia, dude. She's like, what's the difference between you and your sister being? She's scared of spiders and insects and rats. Yeah." <coughs> And you're scared of me fucking dying. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? It's both phobias. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's a weakness. Yeah. And that's what it really it really comes down to. And I'm not saying it's bad. It, like, in that case, mm-hmm. I would say it's actually good that mm-hmm. you're constantly, like, reassuring your mom and you're around, you're, you're yeah, around yeah. for her. But I think in my w- my way, it, it helps me out because sometimes I get really, really busy. I don't yeah, even get course, to, like, call course, her. Like, yeah, for, yeah. you know, I haven't seen my mom in, like, eight days, even though she lives, like, ten blocks away. Yeah, yeah. Right? But it, I feel good about it because I'm, like, well, fuck man like she probably wants to be alone man mm-hmm. like i'm annoying mm-hmm. i guarantee you if i had a kid just like me around me all the time it'd be fucking annoying like it'd be i'd be glad once they get financially independent and move out you yeah. feel like the kind of guy would be like annoyed with yourself after some time well i mean i've already seen this come to light right <laughs> because there's Why? only s- in the mirror every day you're like fuck this guy man no, the thing is, is like this is my feel, <laughs> <laughs> gets up in the morning. This fucking guy again? <laughs> Fuck! I, tol- <laughs> I, I, I thought I told you to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Why are you like, still five eight? Oh, this shit again. <laughs> God damn it! I wish I just woke up six four. <laughs> Doctor Evil, last point. What would you do if you're you six four? <laughs> <laughs> what would they do? <laughs> How, okay, what would you give up in this life to be 6'4 for the rest of your it life? Can no one you. <laughs> it can be tiny. It can be like, uh, I don't know, make it as small as you want. It could be as big as you want. To be 6'4? Yeah. Christ. Fucking high school all over again. I don't know, man. I don't think about what am I going to give up to be 6'4. I'm not 6'4, and I don't think I will be. Uh, just give up, uh, give up those shoes, maybe. Okay. Because six four, it might be something vain. Like to you yeah, now, true, it might true, be true. vain. Yeah, yeah. This is actually crucial to anything you want to implement Just in your disclosing future. Closing my fucking medical. Well, history. we can cut it out. Yeah, we'll cut it. We'll cut it. I don't know, man. What is this? You gotta give me like pre-made answers here. I what, would what is this? Uh, Jeopardy? No, no, not, <laughs> not that. It's like choose your own adventure. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, like goosebumps? <laughs> Build a life. <laughs> <laughs> Go to page I just five. Don't think about these kinds of courses because it's like. That's what we're here for, man. We ask these questions. Welcome to Funny But Foul. Okay, Introspective uh, edition. Yeah, sure. And to be fair, if you don't like it, we'll just cut the whole thing out. We'll just redo this, make it easier. I'd give up my my guitars. How do you like that? Sure. That's, that's all right. I'll take. Hector, what would you give up uh, for, let's say, your biggest imperfection in your mind? Oh, my hairline? Is that it? Bruh. Is uh, that actually, it for you? It's either that or the guy. No, it's one of the two. Okay, both of them. Let's put them oh, together. Oh, damn. At the same time. Yeah, Fuck. same time. That's a but that's but this is this is what I'm saying. Like, you would never have it. So you'd have to go back to when you when it started. Like 15, This is the kind of shit yeah. when we're older. We're going to look back and like, this meeting. It's too vain. Six foot four, hairline, gyno. No, but yours wasn't it's six yeah, foot yours four. Was, How, here's a good one. Memory. I don't like that my memory isn't very good. And, you know, 20 years from now, if I'm still alive, it's probably going to be even worse. That would be something that I'd like to be sharpened. All right, now, so what are you ahead. doing for that? Yeah. How are uh, you improving that? I don't know if I can improve it, man. That stuff is not well understood at all. I'd actually, like, disagree on your point earlier. Like, oh, it's so vain. It's like, yeah, man, but, like... Everything's me, okay, vain. No, not only that, but, okay, maybe for but you... If there's anything you l- can pick... Let like me, let, yeah, no, but let me finish, because he was the one who asked the question. He was the one who's like, hairline, and it's, like, imperfection or whatever. 
maybe you like being the height like that that's not an issue for you and, and it ought, if it is if it isn't rather honestly good for you like i'm actually really happy that that it isn't for you but personally for me those two things at times have been actual issues for me where yeah, fair enough, like th- and that's what i mean like it, it's more serious yeah it's not like just like oh it'd be nice to be like you know have a bigger cock or these stupid things it's like no man <laughs> I mean, like that's emotionally no sure no but like i'm actually pretty happy with my cock but when um when i was a kid like i was embarrassed to like take off my shirt at the pool it's like stuff like that where mm-hmm. you know certain mm-hmm. kids are embarrassed about certain things and then you know the first few times where someone points out like your your hair line or issues or whatever especially when you're younger where you don't have the confidence to kind of like fight back against that stuff mm. that can be not traumatizing because i haven't had that bad of an issue as compared to other people with similar stuff but yeah like the first time you get fucking clowned on for oh look at this guy here well yeah. yeah that's like i wish i didn't have to feel that way again come to like now where it's like ah, if someone mentions like if i take off my head right now these guys are like okay whatever i don't really give that much of a shit what you guys think about it which is growth now, but yeah. if I could just not feel, if I could have that growth without feeling that way earlier, that's that's why I'm yeah, just like, for impossible. me, those, yeah, for me, those things are, that's why I'm like, I, it'd be nice to not go through that. Okay. Um, there's obviously other more introspective ones we could think of, like, all right, if you, memory better, uh, fucking, I don't know, it's overall health, yeah, sure, for those are like, but you could ones. say that, uh, Doc yeah. Evil's or patience or memory or whatever, it's almost the same. It's just a different uh, what is important to you, mm, mm. right? So it doesn't necessarily make it better or worse. It's like what 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 affected you more, right? For me, honestly, the time that I spent on stupid shit, just to go back to when I was like 18. I don't know. Okay, I was two, like pe- two people. Yeah. So that's the length that's I would go to because I, I fucking yeah. want it. But um, the interesting part about, you know, if you want to be a winner, <laughs> <laughs> stupid. The interesting part about that question, regardless of how vain the uh, the initial question is, your answer actually speaks to how important that stuff is it is to you. So if you just say like, oh, you know, like pay like a thousand bucks, oh, you don't really give that much of a yeah. shit about it. But if you're like, bro, I would like give this up, like I'd give five years, five years of my life. Okay, well, that, that's a clearly that's a big deal for mm-hmm. you. Yeah. So it's like yes, you could just yeah, two guitars, whatever. No, yeah. I, that's a bullshit answer. Two guitars. That means <laughs> well. That means like <laughs> like we said that that sh- or like I said like I said rather that just means that it's the question or what it's not that important to you. It's like ah, yeah, sure, yeah, not that big of a deal. I just so that's probably fair. That's probably a good answer. It's not practical, I guess. That's why. So it's probably a good answer. If the devil came up to Doctor Evil, and asked him what he would want, he'd probably tell him what he wants, and then he'd be like, "But you know what? I'm good either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't." Um, with yeah, that, I wish I was that. Uh, I think you are that, though. Secure? I think I think I yeah. think <laughs> I think we are all going towards that because certain aspects of my life. I'll finish off with this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would never imagine it would get, get to this point mm. in in certain ways. Things that happened or yeah, things yeah. that you know that didn't happen. Um, but for some odd reason, with time, everything has been accepted in my mind. Right like at ease which is insane because you know whenever you see like these murders or saskatchewan yeah, yeah. how can these five guys how can these two guys kill 10 people mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you realize that if you can get used to yourself they could just get used to that true it's just on a bigger scale yeah yeah that's all it is and that's a scary notion because you realize that that's how people normalize this kind of shit very easily for themselves not that that's sure but that's not my point my point is, is like if the scale on normalization can be like the death of us. Mm-hmm. If we normalize nuclear weapons, if we yeah, yeah. normalize famine, which, I mean, in certain aspects People we do, have, yeah. you realize that even if you're in a first world country and a third world country, it doesn't matter. Like, it is actually not safe. I gotta go. Yeah, you're probably good. My All right, guys. You're pretty close, though. It's been a good one. And funny but foul, we out. We out. We out.